Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. Today we have a really special video. Excited. We actually received these keto bars in the mail. We get to try them. And we're going to review them right, right after, after this. this. So I am super excited about trying these keto bars. I can't wait. Um, full disclaimer though, we didn't purchase these. Uh, these were sent to us by keto bars for this review. That makes me more excited. I can't believe people want us to try stuff. Now, they know we're gonna be totally honest. We will be completely honest, and that's the one thing about this channel. Um, sometimes we're gonna purchase things not knowing what it tastes like, or maybe if companies ever do send us something, we will do a review on it, um, but we are going to give our honest opinion. We don't always like stuff. Yep, and the one thing I will say though is that if we ever like promote a product, like say, hey, you guys should get this, it will only be a product that we believe in. That's right. That we are willing to use. Like I am never going to promote anything uh, to make a dollar or for a company to like give me something or pay for something for us uh, unless I completely believe in it. Because I don't want other people being like suckered. Right, like we completely promote Primal Kitchen, we promote Keto Brick because those are products that we believe in that we use. Uh, so this is really a review yeah. of Keto Bars. So uh, I do wanna say when I first started Keto two years ago, there was nothing on the market for you. Like if you wanted like to a buy Quest a bar Keto snack. And like an Atkins bar. The only, yeah, that was the only thing you can get like an on the go bar was either Quest bars or Atkins bars. And now we know like Atkins bars are really not Keto at all. First no. of all, they're, they're, they're High higher protein. in fat. No, they're higher in fat, but they're loaded with like maltitol and sorbitol. But they and still then, don't have great ratios. No. And then Quest bars are high protein. So legit and they will like break your teeth off. <laughs> right. So I do remember the keto bars was around back then. I don't remember and they were the only one like around. reaching out for them. No, I did try them once. Okay. And uh, I do remember them being really good, but it's two years at the time you weren't on keto. So yeah. I'm really excited to try these. I was just really eating oatmeal back then. Yes. I had no more room in my uh, diet for anything so else. Let's go ahead and open these up. Such a cute I like the package. package. Reminds me of like take home Chinese food. Okay, so let's see. They sent us. Ooh. Looks like there's 10 bars in here. Nice. Wow. Look how cute they are. So we have, let's see. Oh, there's nine bars. So we have three of each flavor. We have three. This one is dark chocolate coconut almond. Okay. And we have chocolate peanut butter. I usually like chocolate peanut butter. And we have mint chocolate. You like mint chocolate. Yes. So I'm going to go over the ratios on this one. So this is a keto bar. It's mint chocolate. It is one bar, 220 calories, 19 grams of fat, 11 grams of saturated fat, 15 carbohydrates, seven dietary fiber, five erythritol, so that makes it three net carbs, and it is six grams of protein. So really good macros. Good ratio. Yep. The ingredients are chocolate, almonds, coconut, erythritol, cocoa processed with acai. Is that how you pronounce that? Alka alkali. It's whatever that silly little berry is that everybody likes. Yeah. Um, sorry. <laughs> Water, salt, stevia, and peppermint oil. Nothing bad. So there is absolutely nothing bad in it. Which one you got there? I've got the chocolate peanut butter one, three net carbs. It's 21 grams of fat. Okay. 250 calories, so a little bit more calories on this one. Total carbs, 13. Dietary fiber, six, erythritol, four, sugars, one, and it's made up of peanut butter, chocolate, coconut, erythritol, erythritol, <laughs> water, salt, and stevia. Like, it doesn't get... And it doesn't get any cleaner than these cleaner ingredients. Cleaner than that. Okay, and then the last one is the dark chocolate almond, chocolate coconut almond. That's the one I really want to try. 227 calories, 20 grams of fat, 12 grams of saturated fat. 15 carbohydrates, seven dietary fiber, five erythritol, and six protein. And the ingredients in this are chocolate, almonds, coconut, cocoa press, 
uh, erythritol, water, coconut oil, salt, and stevia. So all three of them have really clean ingredients. Great. Three nut carbs I each. love the fact that it's got a ton of fat in it. Um, they are three net carbs each and even for us because I would use something like this as a meal replacement like yeah. going to my games Yes, especially I've already gotten part of my schedule for this year and like I have Saturdays where I'm doing five and six games So like to bring something like this to like halfway through the day if you have kids like Caleb mm -hmm. That is on this and needs to take something to school. He he would love this just okay, like a so let's do this. Can you grab grab a piece of that parchment paper? And what we'll, we'll do is, I don't want to eat a whole bar. Because what I do like is the fact that I could eat one of these and going on net carbs and still mm. stay within my total carbs for the day. I like to be really loud with paper. Okay, so this one here is the dark, dark chocolate coconut almond. And we'll dark just, chocolate? We'll just break off from all Boston. The Nice. That looks very chocolatey. Right? I have smell first. That smells like chocolate. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the other ones taste like. That, to me. Like a French brownie. It's got the consistency of a, like, really fudgy brownie. Mm-hmm. But the flavor... It's reminding me of my absolute favorite candy bar. He's got to be the only person who likes Almond Joy. I loved Almond Joys. Almond Joy. And tell, tell me that that Is, doesn't taste like a dark chocolate Almond Joy. When the kids would trick or treat, he would dig through their bags for Almond Joy. Yeah. Does, t tell me that it doesn't taste like a dark chocolate Almond Joy. It absolutely tastes like a dark chocolate Almond Joy. So. So. Dark chocolate. I've got chocolate. I mean, this is fudgy. It is fudgy. So I've got, uh, that is really good. This one's a winner. We got to try chocolate and peanut butter. Chocolate and peanut butter. No, you can really taste the coconut in that one. It's like very crunchy and lots of coconut flakes. But to me, the taste is all dependent on the chocolate peanut butter. I judge companies by what their peanut butter tastes like. These are fudgy. I probably, I mean, these have been sitting on my desk since yesterday. And again, we're in Florida. I keep the house at 76 degrees. So they're not melting. I like that. But I would probably store these in the refrigerator. I think we need to start keeping the house at like 68. Yeah, that's not happening. 65. Okay. I'm always hot and you're always cold. Well, you're just hot looking. Okay, so this is dark chocolate peanut butter. I'm going to actually show them because you can see chunks? there are chunks of almonds in that. I don't know if you guys can picture that, but... Is it almonds or peanuts? I think it's peanuts. I guess they're peanuts. Yeah, it's peanuts. It's the peanut butter. Oh my gosh. I know they're going to think I'm lying. But again, it's like eating a super gooey fudge brownie. It's a very fudgy brownie. Like, I bet you could even serve this like warm. No, it'll melt. It's got coconut oil in it, mm. right? Well, it's good. Yeah, it will melt. It definitely, this would definitely melt. Um, like I said, it doesn't have coconut oil, just coconut. I would absolutely store this in the refrigerator though, to make sure they're not melting, maybe not be so chocolatey. <laughs> This is crazy good. Um, again, I know that they're gonna people are gonna think I'm lying. It kind of reminds me of a Reese's peanut butter cup. Why would people With, think you're lying? Because nothing's ever this good. <laughs> it's really good. It is really good. And again, I don't say that lightly. We really don't like endorse products unless we really like them. Like I said, we we endorse keto brick because we love that we love product. It. And like you know, these are really good, and you're like on the same level as a keto brick. Has a little bit more um, carbohydrates than a keto brick, you know, when you go calorie for calorie, but this is more like I a dessert. This is like a fat bomb. Yeah, this or is like a, good a meal, really. Like a, a snack replacement type of bar. This, is, it, but it's really good, and you're getting a lot of it. That's a yeah. good, decent size. Like, this is a legitimate. I mean, size this, bar. it's to give you an idea here, give me your hand. So. So that's the size of it. 
and I mean, so you're gonna think it's small, but it's so rich. It's very. I would say it's probably eat. If I mean, if I ate this entire bar, I would say it'd probably be the equivalent of eating like um, a king size regular candy bar. I do not taste any chemical chemicals. That's it. I don't taste any chemically chalky medicine-y taste that you get when it's like a lot of chemicals. Okay, so this one is the mint chocolate one. Okay, it, this one seems to be a little bit like more crumbly, like not so. Ooh, it smells like an Andy's candy. Well, that's, I was just gonna say, I can smell it and. Woo! And it tastes like an Andy's candies. It totally tastes like Andy's candies. It tastes like Andy's candies more than York peppermint patty. York peppermint patty always has a lot, a lot of mint and kind of like kicks your butt in your mouth. This tastes like Andy's candies. Yeah. This reminds me of my childhood because my grandmother loved Andy's candies. Yeah, these are really good. Now again, I do remember ordering from them when I first started keto. And the only reason I did was because I was in desperate need for something on the road and they literally were the only product out there. When, when you typed in like keto, like keto bar, anything like that, this was the only thing that showed up and then Quest bars and stuff. And I remember I bought them once, you weren't on keto yet, or it may have been the time where you had started and then quit it after like a month. And I know the only reason that I did not ever purchase them again was because at the time where, where like, I was so used to like, you want a candy bar, you pay a dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like, I yeah. wasn't willing to pay for good quality Chocolate ingredients. Chocolate is cheap. But this was at a time where like, we would only eat like regular cheap ground beef and eat the mm -hmm. 99 cent eggs. Now, like our whole philosophy has changed to buying good quality products. And this is a good quality product. And this product. is a good quality product. So a little bit about the cost. Okay. okay that you buy you buy them in a box of 10 so i guess this is how it comes and these are the must three be a box flavors of nine or but no i believe it's a, i looked on their website it's okay. a box of 10. you okay. get 10 of them it's 24 dollars and 95 cents okay for 10 of them so they're so, 250 a bar all right so you're right in line with all the other buying snacks. atkins bars or or buying um quest bars it's i love the fact that they're all not only are they all sealed they're all vacuum sealed it, they're so moist yeah they're I know. really, these our, are really good. Our children have banned us from saying that word. <laughs> they don't like hearing us say the word moist, but they are very moist. Yeah. So they're $24.95 for a box of 10. I did reach out to them and ask them if they had a coupon code, yeah. which they do not. They want to keep the price low. Okay. But you can do two things. So you can, if you click on their website, they said, if you subscribe to their newsletter, you'll get 10% off of your first order. All right. And they also said that they have a subscription thing where if you like them and you want to have them shipped to you every like 30 days, oh, 60 okay. days, 90 days, mm -hmm. you get 10% off. That seems reasonable. So it would be like $2.20. I don't even think any of these are the flavor that I the, that I got when I first tried it. I know they didn't have all these flavors. They had one. Well, I know one thing. You didn't share. No, I don't think I did. You did not share back then. So, I may have. Because I, you, I'm telling you, if you aren't, let's say you're not keto and you're just like trying to get your kids to like have a healthier snack with not a bunch of junk in it and you're trying to like swap out a candy bar, I'd buy it just for that. So, so big question of the day, would you purchase these? Heck to the yes. So that means I have to purchase some of these. I don't yes. know. I wonder if we could get some of these in Wait, time. which one did you like the best? Oh, well, first of all, I would definitely purchase these again. Yeah. I, I definitely think I'm going to be purchasing some of these. I don't know. I'm wondering if we can get some more in time for Texas. Because we're leaving for Texas on Tuesday. And then today is Tuesday. Well, I'm... all these are for me. Oh. So I don't know what okay. you're getting. So let's see. I don't know. Which is my favorite? I'm going to put them in the order that I liked them. I'm going to probably go the dark chocolate coconut almond, the mint chip, and then the chocolate peanut butter. But I don't know. This is kind of, this is almost to a tie. You know what irks me is that no one, no one has given you more grief about enjoying Almond Joys than I have. And I think that's my lineup as well. So I actually like the dark chocolate coconut almond, then mint chocolate, and then the peanut butter. It's not that the peanut butter isn't good because the peanut butter is good, but 
Man, there's so much flavor. Here's, in here's my thing. Yeah, the other two have so much more flavor. This is like eating a chocolate bar with a hint of peanut butter. Yeah. Like I said, kind of like almost like a, a Reese's peanut butter cup where you get where where you that first bite where you get a lot of chocolate and not a lot of peanut butter. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting with this. Because it's not a Reese's. Whereas for these me. other two, the, these really reminds me the of candy bars I'm familiar jumps with. Out of you. So if you're like Hey, I want to have a taste of the olden days when I was eating a regular candy bar. This so, is it. So, again, I would recommend these. Um, I definitely think I'm going to be purchasing. I, yeah. You know, again, we're not huge processed food people. Um, this is made, again, by a family. It's a small company. They've been around in keto. Like, before the keto craze started over the last six months to a year. And... I do like this. I think that a product like this is really good for somebody yeah. who is on the go. Let's say you're a traveler. You have to fly around the country a lot. You always want to keep something in your purse or your briefcase or something like that. You need something like when you're going to be out all day. This is a great product to be able to just carry with you and know that you're going to eat something good and healthy. The difference is, though, I have to say... It's not just functional. It's really good. It is really good. It's really good. So you're going to want to carry this around, not because like, oh, good, it's a replacement. You're going to be like, yeah, I don't want to eat regular food. I'd like to just eat this, please. And I do like the fact that as as people who do total carbs, yeah, okay, I can eat the whole bar. Oh, we could. I can eat the whole bar. Yes, it's 15. 15 total carbs, yes. three net carbs. So I can eat the total bar and still have plenty of room left in my day for... You know, like eating some veggies or eating exactly. some other carbs or, or something like that. And like I so said, we're trying to we're trying to keep our total carbs under thirty. But I, you know, I was talking to my sister today, and I said, "Hi, Terry." <laughs> so I had said that like we're keeping our total carbs between twenty five and thirty, except for on our dessert day. At which point, I'm willing to go as high yeah. as fifty total carbs, but no more than twenty net carbs. This would be a good dessert. This would definitely be a good dessert. But I I want to use it more as a meal bar. I want to use it as anything I can get it. So. Well, that is our video for today. I will leave a link down in the description um, for you guys to get this. Uh, we're going to start putting on our website, which is 2crazyketos.com. Uh, we're going to start putting on our website a product page with different products that we personally like. And again, you will never see a product on there that we don't believe in that we wouldn't use ourselves. So. You are not going to be angry. people have asked us like, hey, like what kind of cheese do you use? Something yeah. like that. So. You're not going to be angry if you try these. So if you've ever tried these, uh, let us know down in the description. Let us know what you think. Yeah. So how about this? We Why don't we give one of these away? That's a good idea. So what we'll do is we're going to save three out. These won't go to one Texas. Of one of each. We're going to save three out. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is, how about this? Um, like the video for us. Yep. And then leave a comment down in the comment section. And when we come home from Texas. Yeah. So that is, today's Tuesday. So two Tuesdays from today, whatever that date is. Yeah. Don't ask me to look that up. I don't so, know. So two Tuesdays from today. Uh-huh. We'll just take all the number of people that we put a comment and we'll put in a random generator and we'll send out for free. No, we'll pay for the shipping and everything. You just let us know down below. Comment down below. What if, flavor you like. What flavor do you want? And anybody who comments down below will get entered into their drawing. I like that. So, so we got them for free, so let's give them away. Absolutely. So. So again, that's our video for today. If you like what you saw, please do us a favor. Hit the like button down below. Please subscribe to our channel and also hit the little bell icon. And that way, every time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And like I said, we upload every Friday, though. If you've been following us at all for the last couple of weeks, we are attempting to get up like three or even four a week. We're just having so much fun. But we're guaranteeing we will always have one on Friday. And I love like getting to talk to people. Yes. So like if you comment or message us, like we love talking to you. Yep. So until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.